Shil Wam, when you start off souls by giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, uh, Bashem Makar Kadash, double honors to the Apostle, great most on, and honors to you brothers doing the work of the Most High in truth and in sincerity. And Yahweh is the real name of whom the world ignorantly calls God Jehovah or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and the Son's true name is Yahweh Shai, and when we pray, pray Yahweh, Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by meaning in, humming the and Shem, meaning names Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick, this is inspired uh, by a thread that I saw, I think a week ago now, uh, but um, only uh, now to spread allowed me to do this vid. But yeah, it's uh, it's on basically how this man's uh, witchcraft is, uh, you know, has 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 been working. His witchcraft has been working, um, but more so, it's the women that have been taken by it, right? You know the, but you know in 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 either way he is getting his results and that is um you know the lack of births that you're seeing all all throughout the world right you know the the, the gender divide going but you know what's going to fix that gender divide right the hell that is going to um come upon this world right because all of these women are going to be you know looking uh you know for a man looking for protection okay and you know the primary uh, uh goal was, will be to find a man of the Lord. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. It says, In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, i.e., we won't be a burden unto you. you know, right? And seven just means completions, however many uh, women that is allocated in the spirit for that particular brother. Right? You know, a load of women just going to be saying, Look, man, we ain't going to be a burden unto you. But Baba Kasha, only let us be called by thy name. Right, and how does a woman take on a man's name? Right, it says to take away our reproach. So basically, that look, we'll deal with you, but you know, please, you know, it's hard out here, right? And that's going to be the great reset uh, in these uh, you know, broads' minds. Isaiah 32 and 2 And the man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So seeing a man in that day, that's going to be like the best thing ever. Work months again, not like now where men are um, despised. And let's just keep it real. In this kingdom, men are despised. Right? But the Lord is coming back to correct that, right? to put things aright. Right? Because this world that we're living in, it's not right. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's go back to it. Right. So it says um, it's from John Byrne Murdoch. It says, and a uh, new an idea, and it's from the FT, right, Financial Times. It says, a new ideological divide is emerging between young men and women in many countries around the world. I think this is one of the most important social trends unfolding today and provides the answer to several puzzles, right? Now, I did, um, you know, see someone who was kind of trying to, uh, you know, counter-argue this, um, you know, but others are saying it's good. So, you know, as with anything, especially when it comes to, uh, would you call it, especially when it comes to uh, statistics and stuff like that, when, it come, when it's coming from me, so you always got to, you know, take it uh, with with a ladle of salt, as I like to say, just purely because this man lies all the time, right? But, uh, you know, I'm just applying uh, the uh, uh, you know the plausibility test, right? Everything that is is written in this thread is plausible because we see it, right? You know you can't talk to these women anymore, right? You, you know even in the comment down there, it basically says how um even these things are happening in in you know places like Nigeria, right? Where women are you know coming out and stopping doing things that are quote unquote seen as um, uh, you know, they say it is oppressive, but where does that ideology come from? It comes from the serpent, right? And you were going to get all these, you know, beautiful uh, precepts, okay? It come from the serpent, giving them these ideologies, right? To basically, you know, uh, find issue with these things. Um, so it says, um, yeah, and you basically see the images there, right? And this uh, and the other. Right, and uh, I saw another thread which is basically going into this particular one, right? Um, in South Korea, where basically, like, uh, South Korea is an extremely conservative country, right? You know, men are basically men are kings, right? And, and women are subservient, like. But then, when you're watching the Netflix and stuff like that, they're pushing ideologies, and you can see the why. You can actually see. It. I'll be watching certain things, you know, trying to learn. 
uh, you know, practice language learning. And I'm just like, bruv, like that is just completely unacceptable in Korea. <laughs> right. But that's that witchcraft. Uh, so it says, um, my column this week is on the new global gender divide and its implication, but let's dig deeper. Right, we are we're often told Gen Zs are hyper progressive, but other surveys suggest they're surprisingly conservative. But breaking things down by sex uh, provides an explanation. Young women are very progressive. Young men are surprisingly conservative. Gen Z is two generations, not one. Right, and who's basically been re really taken and drunken by the wine? These women, right? That's because he knows that the woman is weak, right? And he's he's used this, right, as as uh, as as a you know as a tool from the beginning. This is Genesis three and one. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, but the Most High said, He shall not eat of every tree of the garden. The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the Most High hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the Most High knoweth that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And that's the, what this devil does. He comes with the smooth words. He slithers in. Slithers in, tells you what you want to hear, and you know this is the original uh, feminist, if you will. All right, trying to get that power. However, what does it say in uh, Sirach uh, twenty-five and twenty-four? Right, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Because the serpent lied, just like when he's pushing all of these different agendas. Right, go get your career, girl. All of that BS. Right, yes, queen. All of that fucking stupid. You know, I'll be at work, I'll be hearing the girls are uh, queen and I'm like looking at them it's like just 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 sh shivers up my spine, man. You know, shit's cringy as hell. Right? Especially once, you know, a brother Bar Shem you know, the apostles teach about going looking into words. And one of the words that the apostles you know, looked into was that word queen. Mind you, you know, knowing what it means that it just means a bloody hoe you know, keeping it uh, straight into the point, right? Just looking at them, but ultimately, is 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 <laughs> really they should be calling themselves queens because ultimately that's what they all are—a whole bunch of you know, a whole bunch of hoes, right? That's just all, all 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 you have in this system. And once again, who told them that the serpent? The serpent came up to them and said, "Hey, man, you can spread your legs to whoever you want, and you will be happy." Just like all the girls now that are. Uh, you know, lamenting, right, the fact that their their body parts are all over the bloody internet, right, for the whole world, including friends, families, uh, uh, potential employers, right, potential uh, uh, children to see. Okay, this is First Peter three and seven, right. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to the knowledge given on unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel. Right, as and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Right, and the point that I wanted there was that this is the weaker vessel, and Esau knows this, right, which is why his, uh, you know, he understands that you know he goes to the woman first, and that woman will bring those dodgy doctrines, right, back, you know, to her house. Right? Another reason why also he separated the entire family. The 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 dad goes to one job, the mom goes to another job. And the kids go to school, right? And, you know, apart from the man, you know, the kids are, you know, which, let's be fair, you know, a lot of, lot of men are just throughout here, right? But the woman is completely gone. She'll be at work. Yeah, man. So we carry on. Uh, so it says, uh, in country after country, surveys show a very similar pattern. Historically, the views of men and women in the same generations have been similar. This is true for older age groups, but a gap has opened between today's young men and uh, today's young men and women. Let's uh, look at some examples. Here's from South Korea, where the ideology divide between young men and women is famously wide. Young women have become markedly more progressive on gender norms, but young men have not budged. The result, an emerging societal rift, right? Um, and, you know, you can look, look and see all of that. It says this is having huge impacts, including reducing rates of marriage and births in Korea, whose birth rate has plummeted 
to become the lowest of any country in the world. And once again, this is what Esau wants. This is exactly what he wants. He wants people to not have children. That's what he wants. Okay. You know, he's, he's trying to get rid of, uh, you know, the population of this world by any means necessary. Whether it's, you know, ideologically, right, by sterilizing people, you know, by doing X, Y, and Z. He wants people to not have children, right? So, uh, you know, I think it's the, the, the stat is something crazy, like 0 0.4 women in Korea will ever have a child nowadays. Right, which is just it's in, insane right every other woman more than every other woman that you meet is is never going to have a child which is just you know uh, uh, you know bad shit okay uh, uh, which call it going to click in and get some more so but it's not just korea here's a striking one for the us in contrast to the typical relationship between values and age young american men hold more conservative views on gender than older men right this has huge social uh, implications right you know so basically like you know on on the flip side he is also you know which is nothing wrong with men going out and you know just just you know learning to be more man manly but what he's, he is also doing is pushing things uh, like the red pill which yeah it's once again it's good for men to become manly right Squid just speak about that um you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, uh uh, require it of the let me let me grab that real quick because I forget exactly how it's phrased. Uh, gird up thy loins, that's it. It says Job thirty three and eight. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I'll demand of thee and answer thou me. Right, same thing. Job forty and seven. Gird up thy loins like now like a man. Right, I will demand of thee and declare unto me. Right. And that's it, you know, we, 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 we must needs gird up our loins like men, right? You know, just, you know, carry ourselves as men. One of the things Apostle Gabar said is the first thing to becoming a man of the Lord is to become a man first, right? So it's good that, they, that, that the image of being a man is being pushed in the world. But Esau being Esau, he's touched it. He's even touched and tainted that where, you know, these so-called red, certainly these so-called red pillars are telling men to basically, they're basically pushing, I think they ought to put it as a, a, a feminism, but for men, right? You had one of those guys basically saying men should get a vasectomy, right? He's, he is, you're supposed to be a red pill guy talking about getting a bloody vasectomy. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? Okay. Once again, don't, he's basically saying don't have children. <laughs> Right. It says, and here's where it gets most interesting. The divide is not just about issues concerning gender. This chart for the UK is remarkable. All groups of people, young and old men and women, have become more liberal on race and immigration, except young men. <laughs> right. You know, and a what what has uh, the um, what has the uh, you know, the apostle been speaking about recently, man? All, all of these broads want a Jake. <laughs> Right, they all wanted Jake. So then here's Germany and a similar issue, right? Young German women have become markedly more progressive on attitudes to immigrants, while German men are more conservative on this than their elders, right? Um, so it's what is causing all of this? One theory is negative polarization, right? Once again, on purpose, right? What did we read in Genesis 3 and 1? Let's read it again. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Right, which the Lord had made, and that's it. He, he, he uses his subtility, his cunning, right, to 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 infect the minds of the people. Let's grab this. This is Habakkuk two fifteen. Woe well unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, and that drink represents philosophies. Esau has pushed philosophies upon the world. Okay, woe well means destruction, because Esau's ultimately going to be destroyed for doing all of this, right? Because he's once again he's pushed uh, in the world. Agendas and doctrines which are contrary to what the Most High wants. The Most High said, "Be fruitful and multiply." In fact, I think it's it's as in the scriptures a few times. All right, so be fruitful, multiply. I think it's in Genesis like three times. Genesis 1, 22, uh, 28, 8, 17, 9, 1, 7. You know, so, it, you know, it's, it's it's in the scriptures a lot, right? You know, because the Most High, you know, that's what he wants. He wants you, Jay, to be fruitful and multiply. You read, uh, what is it, um, uh, Psalms 127, let's grab that real quick. Uh, 
Psalms 127, right? It says, um, uh, verse 3, it says, Lo, children are in heritage of Yahweh, right? And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth, right? Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate, right? So it, it is it is ultimately, which in this kingdom I understand, you know, um, it may not feel like it, right? But, you know, in, in, in the kingdom, we're going to be enjoying them kids. We're going to be, you know, popping, you know, getting down, right? <laughs> you know, every nine months, you know, really not even every nine months. You'd be popping so many women all throughout the year, right? Apart from you, the Sabbaths and High Holy Days, right? You're going to be popping women and they're going to be getting pregnancy. Oh, you're just going to be like, oh, shit, <laughs> you know? Scripture so says a little one shall become a thousand, right? Speaking about all of the children that we're going to be having. Uh, right, so it says what's causing all of this. It says one theory is negative polarization, the wake of Me Too movement. Young women have both become more progressive, more vocal about their views. Many young women, men feel threatened and have reacted by taking the opposite position. And it's not only that, you know, once again, Esau knew what it is that he was doing, um, in that you basically have situations now where you don't even want to chat to a woman, you don't know whether she, she's going to be. A, a, a bugged out chick or a not bugged out chick right you, you know you may i remember one one woman i work with basically saying ah and really she was just humble bragging right because she was just a basic ass becky a basic becky she was like oh um and yeah i was in this area and this guy came up and he uh he he he, he tapped me and he said um i think you're beautiful uh i'd like to take you out on a date and i was like ah man and I was just there, like, right, like, considering, like, all the things, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've heard people say over the years, <laughs> you know, of all the things, like, I've heard people say over the years, I'm like, that's what you have a problem with? I'm like, damn, you. right, but once again, as a man, you don't know what interaction you're going to have, so for the most part, you just don't, you just leave them, you just like, like I ain't going to chat to you, you know, it's like, I just ain't going to chat to you, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to see, uh, any, 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 I'll, I mean, laws or I'll leave the link in the description box. You can read more of it yourself. Um, and I'm just want to see if there are any interesting comments, uh, in regards to this. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure she's talking about American Koreans. The um, climate catastrophe. <laughs> All right, it's a huge, it's, and this is it, and this is this is this is this is true. This is what these elites want when they're speaking about this, right? That's ultimately what they want to call, and they're going to use that as an excuse, okay? Um, and then you're just putting it on the men, right? They're just putting on the man, and then this is you know they keep just saying incredibly um, misogynist, all of this, all of this crap. But it's just like, look, man, it's um, uh, no, hey, that's if she's 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 she, uh, what you call it? if she's ain't ain't you know being right, she's got to be uh, she's got to be correct. Because at the end, this is the thing. At the end of the day, who wants to see their um, you know, what scriptures speak about their uh, you know, woman being the the glory of a man. Uh, he wants to, you know, just each time he goes home, he sees his woman with a black eye. You know, man, we don't do that. <laughs> right? But if, if correction needs to be made, it needs to be made. And, that, and that's just it. Right? People, you know, make it. And that's it. They'll, they'll, they'll take, like, one case. Right? And then they'll magnify that as if that's the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the norm. Not saying you, get, you don't get guys that just be straight up, you know, just you know, for no reason come home drunk. You know, backhanding their woman and that, but you know that's 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 the witchcraft, right? That's the witchcraft. That's why you can't even say you're head of your own house, right? You know, because he will make it seem like you just go home and uppercut her each time, right? But no correction needs to be made. Just the same way you'll correct your child, just the same way you'll correct your woman. Your woman's just a big kid, man, right? But once again, that's that soft, effeminate ass spirit that has been pushed in this world. Right, but that was um, 
in fact, I've got a few more, right? Uh, it says Job 13 and 4 says, but your forges of lies, your all physicians are no value, right? All, what if, literally that last little monologue there, that's, that's, that was, that is all lies that Esau has perpetuated in the world that are oh, these guys, they just, you know, you, you can't, you always have to say nice things to your woman. No, no. Then the, the funniest thing is women don't even fucking like that, man. Right, you know, you'll be all speak, speak, uh, whispering sweet nothings in it all the damn time. She'll be like, Look, man, this guy ain't got a backbone. Like these Edomites that say happy wife, happy life. Now that they, she's like, Look, man, she, she's desiring someone that's gonna back her up, right? Tell her when she's being a little, you know, dickhead, man. Psalm 55 and 21 The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Right, and this one's because Esau will come and present all of these ideologies as look, they're so great for you, you're gonna be a lot better uh, off of the back of this, yet the the that is a lot further from the truth, right? People end up being a lot worse off because of this, right? Because of all of this, you know, all of these doctrines that Esau is pushing out in the world, right? And uh and yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I know I ain't got any uh brought out any precepts on um, uh, you know, on 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 you know, on on witchcraft itself per se, right? But we've seen the witchcraft, whether it be me too, whether it be you know, um, you know Andrew Tate, and 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 you know these men out here. These are just tools and pawns used by the elites to further the agenda of 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 of, of basically uh, this population cult. And we saw the comment there, right? So as always, laws all that was edifying. Until next time, we say shalom.